Okay, let's get started. We're gonna have some fun painting our decorative rabbit. What you should have is your canvas that has your peel on it. Now this peel is kind of a reverse peel, but the creative process is still pretty much the same. I have my colors. I have a paper towel right off the side, a little bit off camera. And I also have a cup that's right there with some water that's also off camera. I want you to be able to see as much of the painting as possible. I have my spatula to remove my peel and I have my brush that has a nice thin side and a nice flat side. We'll probably mostly be using the flat side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you don't want to paint the background first. You want to kind of put in a lot of designs, simple colors, keep it bright, keep it colorful. So let's start with some turquoise. See? It's a little bit of paint on the brush. And I'm going to take this turquoise and I'm just going to wiggle me a line right in here, right over the peel of the eye and even come back a little bit here. Just going to try to maintain the width. Coloration we can always adjust. There. That starts me out. There's my decorative design. I'm going to see if I want to put turquoise anywhere else before I clean my brush and I do. So I'm going to take, put some more on, see, and maybe I'll go here towards the rear and I'll just make a little squiggly line. I'm not going to worry about the smoothness. I'm just going to make sure I get there. That's where I want it. So I'm going to add a little bit more color. And this time when I drive over the exact same line, I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure going ever so slow. Maybe I'll turn the brush over and complete it there. That's a nice smooth transition. Maybe a little bit more color and then just drive right down that line. So you see what I did? The first pass was to show me where I wanted it. The second, third, and fourth pass was to give me the color depth that I wanted. See, you can add color once you have your line and go right over it just to add a darker value. Taking my time. So, I have those two lines. And maybe I'm going to take this and I'm going to create the pattern right here of some circles. Just some little circles. A dot here. Maybe there's a dot here. Because what I'm doing is I'm decorating my rabbit. It's not going to make sense right now. But in the end, it's going to be so cool. There. So now I have a line here, some dots, and a line there. That's my start. I'm going to clean off my brush. Simply wipe it on the paper towel. And let's pick up some, hmm, what would be another nice color choice? Let's go with some pink. So I'm going to take pink, put some pink on my brush. See, just a little bit. And I'm going to say right around this tail area, I'm going to wiggle a line that goes like this, maybe like that, and goes right off. Again, I set the line up. Now I'll go in and darken it by just driving on that same line using the same curvature. Turn the brush over. There. At least I know where I'm going. I may take me a couple of strokes to get there, but the key is to just keep going over exactly where I was. There. That looks good to me. Now maybe we'll take some pink and we'll go right in the front of this design and create another design. Again, I'm just going to take the brush, loop it, maybe it goes like that, and then maybe it goes like that. So that's my design. Now I'm going to clean in the spaces. Up here looks good. Maybe I'll start about here. Just reintroduce some more color. There, yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, this is coming together quite nicely. Far from finished, far from finished. Now, maybe I want to take another pink line and I want to decorate maybe right up in here. This one I'm going to start in the ear. Go whoop, 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 
Woo. Now, again, you see how light that is versus this, but it doesn't matter. It tells me where to go. Now I'll go over it again. Maybe even a second or third time, but it doesn't matter. I know where I'm going now. Turn my brush over, get some of that color that's on the back. You see, you see how I'm not doing all this? I'm just letting the brush do the work. I'm just going to come again from the top. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. And hit it. Turn the brush over. Maybe go right there. Oh, that looks good. So there. So now I have a kind of a basic pattern. I have some turquoise lines and some dots. I have some pink lines. So now why don't we clean off our brush and let's introduce one more color. Let's go with purple. Now this purple, I'm gonna take that and I'm actually gonna create an open circle, maybe two of them. I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna paint an open circle like so, just like that. Leave that little dot in the middle. Then maybe right here, I'll do the same. Leaving a little dot in the middle. Just want to catch the end parts. Try to leave a little opening. This one is not so much, but it's okay. There are my two dots. So now let's take some of this purple. And maybe we'll go right in between here. And I'll put a dot here. Of purple maybe there's a dot here of some purple and maybe there's a dot here of some purple see starting to come together now it's going to make sense in a few moments you know what let's just go with one more little speck of purple and right back here let's do one dot here and another dot here you know what let's go one more let's go a dot here and a dot here. Now it's good. Look how decorative that is. So let's clean off our brush. Let's clean off our brush. And let's see what we could do here. Got a lot of nice colors. But I don't want to go too crazy. Because I kind of want it to be very simple. And I want you to get the idea. Because when you're doing this, you should be creating all of the lines and colors that you want. I'm just giving you an idea of how to approach the project. So let's say right back here on this ear, I want to add something. I want to add two little lines of turquoise. So I'm going to take a little turquoise here. Maybe I'll put a line that connects right there and one that connects right there. Again, not making any sense right now, but it'll make sense later. Clean off my brush and maybe we'll introduce, wipe it on a paper towel, pink right in the middle there let's make that really thick there you go that's good now at this point what i'd like for you to do is let this dry because if it dries a little bit we'll be able to do what i'm gonna call the last part so that this way we can have a completed painting so at this point i don't want to do a time lapse video so I'm simply going to pause it, let it dry, and then we'll finish it up. You won't be a part of the pause because when I come back, it'll be as if we kept going. But I'm telling you, I'm not time lapsing, but I am going to pause the video so that we can come right back and finish up exactly where we are. Okay, let's finish up this painting. We've allowed it to dry. I hope you have too. I didn't want you to sit through the drying period because it could be about five, 10 minutes. In this case, it was five for me. And what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to paint the background. And once I start painting this background, you're going to begin to see why we waited. I'm going to start right up here. I'm going to paint around the colors that I've used already. All I'm interested in doing right now is filling in all of the blank spaces or white spaces around my color. I'm not going to paint over my colors. I'm going to just paint around them. See, I'm just going to paint around the colors. And this is where you want to take your time. 
have some fun, relax, because this is the longest part, but it's also the most critical because this is going to give you the background that you desire. And of course, we'll peel and see what we have. Ideally, you've understood my directions. If you haven't, you could enter a comment below and I'll try to take a look at it and see how I can be better because remember, this is not about me. This is all about you. And by having us on these YouTube channels and on our website, this gives us an opportunity to continue to paint together. And it also gives you an opportunity to learn some things because there's going to be videos where we're just going to learn how to hold a brush, how to make certain strokes, you know, some do's and don'ts, if you will. So this way you could always keep enhancing your skills and have some fun pushing around a few colors. Now you see right here where the colors kind of touching. You see how I didn't go back there to mess with it? Because it doesn't matter. It's small and it's not going to make a big difference. But if I go fussing with it, then I could end up ruining it. So now I'm hoping that my hands are staying out of your way. I'm going to go in between these two. And I'm going to finish painting around the colors. I'm hoping that my hands won't get in the way. So I'm trying very hard to make sure of that because I want you to see how it's starting to come together. We have the front half. Now we're just working our way back. At this point, it really... At this point, it really doesn't matter how you approach this. It's just the process has to be similar. Where you start in one area, either from back to front, front to back, and working your way around. The last thing you want to do is start jumping sides because you can leave some really hard lines for brush strokes. I like to kind of pick up wherever I left off and just keep moving. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it because I could always go back and enrich colors, add purple here, add some green, I mean, turquoise there. So what I want to do right now is focus on completing the task of filling in the background. Now here might be a little tricky, but it's, it's, it's okay. Just go in between like so. See, I'm just letting the brush work for me. And again, I'm just applying the color. And I could always come back and try to fix whatever I think is not right. I'm not worried about the thickness of the color. I have some thick lines here, a thick line there. I'm not going to concern myself with those. See? Can you still see okay? Good. Because you see, it's starting to come together. And it's going to start making more and more sense as we come to the end. Because if you painted this background first, you would have to know which colors are not going to get changed by applying that color on top of whatever background you chose. I chose to use turquoise, pink, and purple for my design. And since I didn't use any yellow, yellow could be my background. If I used yellow in my design, of course it would just get absorbed. Once I made the background, it would look a little weird. So I made sure to choose one color, like yellow, that I know I was not going to use during the painting. So that this way, that could be the color I chose in my background. I could have put yellow in any one of these places and use pink as my background. Or turquoise as my background. By simply substituting where you see those colors now with yellow. We're almost there. We're almost completed. Then I'm going to take a look at it. And then we'll talk about touch-ups. See? See how it's starting to come together? Now, you don't really see the fullness of it till we peel, but the idea of blocking it off for you was so that you wouldn't have to worry about being perfect in your rabbit shape. We've made the shape for you already. We just want you to have some fun creating a design. 
You could have made splashes. You could have made lines this way. You could have went diagonal. The only thing I would suggest is be colorful. You know, and, and whatever it is that you're trying to approach it, because it's Easter, and Easter is usually looked at as a very colorful kind of pastel event. And now I'm going to go to the very last tip here, put some color, then I'm going to take a step back. Now at this point, I'm finished. I wanted to have some circles here so I could put yellow inside. I didn't quite make it on that one, so I'm just going to use that and, and leave it alone. It's not a big deal. I'm going to clean off my brush, wipe it on a paper towel, and before I peel off, I want to take a look at my purples, my turquoise, my pinks, to see if they're dark enough for me. And I don't think they are. So I'm going to go back into the turquoise, and I'm going to take and drive right down the color again. It dried a little, so it should receive it a lot stronger. And here I'm just going to take that yellow completely out. See, that's how you clean up. You don't puddle around with it. You just wait. Be patient. Take some more turquoise. Going to come right here in the back. And I'm going to drive that turquoise color right down the line. I'm going to stop halfway. See, darker, slightly darker, but now it's going to get even better. It can't help it. It's the process and the principles of art. That paint dried. We applied paint on top of it. Acted as an underpainting. Makes it darker. I'm going to go here. Go straight across. I'm going to go here. Go straight across. See? No putts in. My dots that I have. I'm going to go here and just very carefully make them darker. That's all. I just want them to stand up more. just want them to stand up. It's going to make them darker. Add a little bit more color. Turquoise. In my case. You could have actually left open white spaces if you wanted. Clean off my brush. I'm going to do the same thing with the pink. Taking my time. Put a little pink on the brush. See? Just going to drive right down that color. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice and rich. Just following the exact same lines that I made. I'm taking my time. I'm not worried about rushing. I'm not worried about the person next to me. I'm not worried about what someone else is doing or saying. I'm focused on just making sure my decorative rabbit is decorative. There. Look how much different this looks than that. But again, we used it as a guide. It showed us where to go. Now we're going to dress it up. And of course, we have one additional color after this, and we are finished. Again, going halfway. See the difference? Old paint, new paint. You can literally do this for days and build this color up as rich and dark as you want it to be. You could even repaint over the background, which we're not today, but you could. You could. And if you have the time and the patience, Experiment with it. See what happens. See if you can't get that yellow to be even darker, richer, stronger. See? There. Now we're going to clean off our brush. Oops, I forgot one. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot the little line that we made right there. See? No problem. Clean this off. And we're going to go into the purple and I'm just going to omit that whole, making a whole thing and just paint it and see what happens. Look how much darker it gets. Wow. I'm going to go halfway. Look. Old paint, new paint. Come right over this. It's okay. There. Make it nice and dark. That's what we want now. We just want to enhance our picture for this final run or this final pass so that we... And have it nice and rich. I like that dot. I'm going to leave it. And then I'm going to go here. Put a little darker tone there. A little darker tone here. I'm going to go get another set of color. So I could just hit it one or two times. See? Turn the brush over. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look how that paint's working for us. We don't need a lot of paint. We don't need to keep going, keep going, keep. We just need to dip and then just make it work for us on this pass. There. I mean, I'm not going to do it, but you could actually put dots inside these lines. You could put stripes inside these lines. You could paint lines over the design that you made. But you just have to see what is it that you want to do. I'm going to cover this up. That's what I want to do. What you want to do and just have some fun doing it. There. Clean off the brush. I'm going to move everything out of the way. Get ready to peel this off so we can see what we have underneath here. Now, there are three things that have to be removed. Looks like it's only one or two, but it is three. I'm going to show you what they are. Here's my spatula. You have an eye, you have an ear, and you have this exterior. So let's start with the eye. Please excuse my hand if it's in the way. I'm just going to try to stay out of the way. I'm going to come here, find that eye, peel it up. There. Nice black eye. See that? And then let's do the ear. Try to go here with it so you can see. Just going to hold this to push because I want to get a little bit underneath. Let's maybe go this way. There you go. Peel it off. There's my ear. And the last thing we need to peel off is our body. So I'm just gonna grab a corner, any corner. I'm choosing to go here. And I'm just gonna peel it up. Ta-da! Or abracadabra. I like that. There you have it. So now we've decorated our rabbit. And I'm pretty happy with it. And I think that you guys did a wonderful job. And every kit that we provide, especially in a sense like this, I try to give one little jar of black paint just in case people want to go inside and remove some of the white outlines. I'm going to leave mine or make it neater, but I love it just like it is. So I want to thank you very much for painting with me. I hope you had fun. And more important, I hope you understood how you could take a simple outline like this rabbit, turn him into an Easter egg so that you can make it Easter festive. Well, thank you. Have a great time and we'll paint again soon.